In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can unstage files using Git. So the first thing that we'll need to do is, in our Visual Studio Code, what we'll do is we'll make some updates, like lines. Here is another change. We'll also update the other file. First change here, unstage files. Let's save these and then go in over here and say git add and we'll be making use of wildcard support so git add all the files starting with g and press enter so now if i go in and see the status of it you'll notice these two have been staged now if you see over here we have one way of undoing it or unstaging it because i have staged it i can restore it so here what i'll need to do is just write git restore dash dash staged and then the file that i want to unstage for example greet world dot txt press enter and here now if i go in and say get status you'll notice that only one file is there now modified with get init dot txt shown as in green color the other one greet world dot txt has been unstaged now i can unstage the other one as well so for that again the same syntax will be there is just the file name that's going to vary so i'll say get in the dot txt and there you go now if i go in and say get status there you go it says that these two files have been modified but they have not been staged yet and that's the reason why you see them over here with a red color so that was how you can unstage it or unstage a given file in git further if you want to undo it altogether that is there you can just write git restore and then the file greet world dot txt so this is going to override the changes that you have made so if i just go in and say git restore greet world dot txt you'll notice the changes that were there that was made from my end are now gone altogether so we have kind of you know replaced it with the previous version of it so that's like undoing the working directory that we covered in the previous lecture so that was how we can unstage a file